what gives me hope about the future of Christianity uh, right now, and I've been more, I'm more hopeful than I have been in 30 years, um, is that uh, people ha uh, have been leaving the classical expression of the liberal church now for you know, decades um, because it's grown quite anemic in, in, in its emphasis on simply loving one's neighbor as oneself and not so much on you know, loving God with heart, mind, soul, and strength. Um, these are broad generalizations, of course. Uh, and people are also leaving the fundamentalist church now in droves as well, finding that if it's just about you and your personal relationship with God, that becomes anemic as well. But the refugees from both extremes have been kind of have kind of flown the coop, and they have been uh, free-range Christians, so to speak. They have uh, you know, left the church, or those expressions of the church, but not necessarily left the faith. And at places like the Wild Goose Festival, and at places like Darkwood Brew, um, those two groups of refugees who have been out wandering are finding each other. And when they do, they're finding that each, each group is bearing gifts that the other is looking for. So, for instance, those uh, people who have left the fundamentalist tradition um, may have shed some of the baggage they've associated with it, but they also retain that knowledge and that understanding that our personal relationship with God through the Holy Spirit is really fundamental to, <laughs> literally fundamental to um, our, our way, our, our living in the world, our, our soul relationship, our journey through life, and that things like the Bible and Jesus uh, and, and prayer and corporate worship are still extremely important. And those who have left the extreme uh, ends of liberalism may have shed the baggage from their own tradition, but they still remember also that you can't only love, you know, it's not only about your personal relationship with God, that it is about loving your neighbor as yourself, that social justice is a critical piece of the mix as well, and that sometimes the systemic evils need to be fought, not simply the personal evils. And when those two come to get, those two groups come together, we really experience the fullness of Jesus' message, that the most important commandment is love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and strength, and, then, and, and there's another commandment that's just like it, love your neighbor as yourself. The three great loves of God, neighbor, and self come together uh, in this new convergence.